Welcome to Real Physics. Rome is a good place to talk about Enrico Fermi, a great physicist. He was born here in 1901 and became one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century. Of course, because he was the leading nuclear physicist of his time, he was the first one actually to split the nucleus, probably in the mid-30s in Rome, after the discovery of the neutron by James Cadwick in 1932. And everyone was experimenting back then. Everyone was targeting with these newfound particles other nuclei. And, well, even if it wasn't recognized at the time, Fermi was certainly the first. And ironically, he got the Nobel Prize in 1938 for the production of trans-Uranian elements, which were an illusion because everyone was considering it impossible to split the nucleus. And only afterwards, in 1938, Otto Hahn realized that actually he had split the nucleus. So it's ironic that Fermi got this Nobel Prize in 1938 for the theory. And the theory was wrong. That teaches us a little bit about the Nobel Prizes. But anyway, and of course, later, he was the first one also to get the first reactor running to do the first chain reaction. I think it was around 1941 or 42 in Chicago after the groundbreaking work of Leo Szilard. And of course he was, yeah, in every respect, a great physicist, a great experimenter. He's also famous due to his so-called Fermi problems. You just formulate in very general terms. Uh, I think one of, one of his questions he asked his students are how many hair cutters are there in Chicago? And as a method, this is also useful. For instance, in astrophysics, you have to give estimates for yourself, how much stars there are, what's their rate, and so on and so forth. Well, he was a great teacher, he was a great experimenter, but I should say he was not a great theorist. When he completed his uh, studies in Italy, he first went to Germany, to the Arnold Sommerfeld, who was a famous teacher, Pauli was there, Heisenberg had been there, and actually Fermi was a little bit disappointed and said he had the feeling his talent was not appreciated, but on the other hand it's also possible that he was not as talented in theoretical physics as other people. And what he developed then was also a theory of beta decay, which was, I hate to say it, bullshit because it laid the ground for these modern misunderstandings of describing everything with particles. And so, in a way, he is a founder also of this modern theoretical stuff that had gone astray for a long time. Well, that doesn't diminish his achievements as an experimenter, however. And uh, all this, as you know, is related to the difference of culture of European philosophical style physicists in the early 20th century, who sought to explain the fundamental laws of nature. And then we have the different culture after World War II, where American-style physicists pursued huge projects and, well, were more successful in doing things like building the atomic bomb or landing on the moon. Fermi was also, of course, involved in the Manhattan Project. Another quote from him, which is not so nice, is that around the Trinity test in July 1945, he said, let me alone with your doubts of consciousness. This is just wonderful physics. Let's not care about the possible impacts on humankind. Well, that was the mindset at the time. He was also one of the four people who, as a matter of principle, could also have objected against the dropping of the atomic bomb over Hiroshima. He was a member of the scientific panel amongst Oppenheimer, Compton and Lawrence. Well, ironically, after World War II, he was then considered one of the, as one of the leading theorists, even if he was not such a great theoretical physicist. Yeah, I should add, he once was congratulated by Rutherford on successfully having escaped the sphere of theoretical physics. And well, but this, as I said, did, does not take away his achievements as a great experimentalist and that's why we should keep him in our memory here in Rome. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.